Today, Reps for Gulf Power announced the beginning of construction for two new solar energy centers on the way to northwest Florida, and there are plans for more. WKRG.com mobile journalist Daniel Smithson is talking with members of Gulf Power today about what this could mean for their customers' utility bills. Uh, solar energy is going like gangbusters across the United States. This video provided by Gulf Power shows what the 639-acre Cotton Creek Solar Center might look like. The solar center, the first of its kind in Escambia County, located off Bogia Road off Highway 29 in McDavid. Another Gulf Power solar farm is under construction in Jackson County, Florida. Between these two sites, the utility company says enough energy will be generated to power 30,000 homes. We are reducing our carbon emission rates. We're reducing our carbon footprint. But these sites are expensive, so we asked, would Gulf Power customers be asked to pay the bill? There is a cost associated with it. And that cost would be part of a rate review that will be coming up and that we would be um, seeking permission from the Public Service Commission to pass on to our customers. However, Gold Power says the money saved from free renewable energy should offset any additional costs. Over the lifetime of this project, um, th there'll be en enormous cost savings for our customers. The company says it's in the early stages of developing a second center in Escambia County and its first in Santa Rosa County. We're really excited to be part of uh, Florida Power and Light now and to be able to bring a more sustainable energy future to Northwest Florida. The solar centers take about eight to ten months to complete. In Pensacola, I'm Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.